Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies. A customer of ours has sent in two of his Badger 200 airbrushes. This airbrush is the uh, 200NH and I believe at the moment this one is the old style 200. And they are reportedly both blowing air back into the paint cups and so we'll just uh, fit a quick disconnect plug to this connect the air to it and it seems to be blowing air quite nicely and this one is the 200 NH model and just by pressing the air down the bubbling in the cup can be seen clearly um, so I will firstly Remove the needle, which is very difficult. It does look in good condition. My initial reaction is that it could be the needle bearings because these airbrushes are quite old, but we will check the normal things on this that uh, the six holes on this are clear because if one of these holes is blocked it can cause the issue we're having check the tip that does look very very clean so my initial reaction is it could be a needle bearing issue. Uh, we'll just try the other airbrush also. Connect the hose. Again, seems to be the air coming out nicely. And again, exactly the same problem. So I will strip these airbrushes down and uh, have a look at the needle bearings or make sure the needle bearing is in the airbrushes and uh, we'll go from there. So what I thought there was no needle bearing in the airbrush, there actually is an, a needle bearing or the remains of a needle bearing still in there, uh, but it's been reamed out to such a size that um, there's only the very thinnest outside of it, so it is probably just the very fraction of the outside of the needle bearing still left in there and I've had to find a very fine drill piece to drill in and there it is and as you can see the hole in it is rather enormous and our normal it just absolutely been drilled out or reamed out at some point and so there's no way could that ever work in the airbrush because hopefully you can see just how far this should be a snug fit onto the uh, needle and the hole is way too big uh, that's a first for me 
I'll put that one down to the books and so now we can go ahead refit but what I will do now is just re-clean the body out blow it out just check there's no little bits in there and then I shall refit the new needle bearing uh, lubricate all the airbrush up and uh, we should be good to go then So refitting the uh, needle bearing or fitting a new needle bearing should sit just there and this time and just checking that the uh, needle bearing is gone back past the siphon tube so it's sitting just about here and then we will ream out just to get rid of any chamfers that may have happened during replacing the needle bearing testing that the needle slides through you do want a little resistance on it that appears to be fine I shall now just give it a little blow out with the airline just to make sure there's no little just to make sure there's no little debris in there and now we'll lubricate the airbrush and refit all the parts and this particular airbrush has a head that is fixed using a spanner and it's just a tweak don't go forcing otherwise you'll snap the threads and uh, that will not be good and add in some lubricant down into the trigger area which will then come down into the air valve area shall now the handle on and this is the fittings that hold the needle in place and for the needle adjustment and I'll just give that a quick lubricate up able to tell from several of the parts this airbrush is uh, very old I'm estimating somewhere about 30 years mark and again we will put some lubricant down the needle down so the needle slides through nicely again it's just a little and the end screw here locks the needle into place so then the needle won't move the second screw part is the part that you adjust to pull the needle back if you unscrew so it's pulling the needle out and goes forward to push the needle all the way forward and that is how you adjust on a single action airbrush how you adjust the amount of paint that will come out 
because on a single action airbrush you press the trigger down everything happens air and paint and the adjustment is made by this part here as to how much paint does come out so now I'll just wipe all the airbrush up get rid of the excess lubricant fit the quick disconnect plug fit the airline grab my spray dish and as you may be able to see the excess lubricant is coming out and we'll fit the uh, bottle of water to the airbrush and as you may be able to see it is spraying out and I will just adjust the needle and that has stopped it because I've now screwed the needle all the way in and if I pull the needle quite a way back and find some dry tissue then as you can see the airbrush is throwing out an awful lot of water so it seems as though we got this airbrush sorted so I'll give it a quick wipe round and get it ready to send back to the customer thank you for watching our videos we do hope you find them helpful and informative if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the description below and again thank you so much for watching